Hello guys, this is a new modeling tips video for Blender 2.8 and we are going to create this model here which is a kind of dice or whatever. As always there are many ways to create this but I think that's a good possibility to show you how to use the knife tool with the feature to snap it to the midpoint of an edge. So let's get started with the default cube and I go to edit mode and face selection. And then I press the K key to activate the knife tool and as you can see we can snap to edges. But what I want to do is to snap to the midpoints of these edges and what you can do, you can see this here in the description, we can hold the control key pressed and then the knife tool is always snapped to this midpoint. So I cut a square into this face. But the inner face is still too large, I want it to be smaller. So I select it with face selection and then I press the I key to create an inset, then I move the mouse. Then I press the left mouse button and if I want the inset to have an exact value, I can use the operator panel now and for example type in 0.25. Okay, now I move this inset to the inside of the cube, so I press the E key and extrude inwards. Okay, so we modeled one side of this dice and I select now every face of this part. After that I press Ctrl and I to invert the selection. And then I go ahead and delete these faces. Ok, the next step is to mirror this part. You could for example go to object mode, then add a mirror modifier. I mirror this for the Y axis and then I apply the modifier. Alright, now we have two sides of the dice. I select all, then I press Shift and D to duplicate them. And after that I press R, Z, 90 to rotate these parts 90 degrees around the Z axis. Now we have four sides again, duplicate the ones that are selected and press R, Y, 90. And now we have six sides of this cube. I select all and to merge them I press F3 and search for remove doubles. With this the vertices that share the same position are removed and merged. Now let's have a look at the topology, we could remove all the edges around these inner parts, we could just dissolve them. Of course a better option would have been to dissolve these edges for the first side that we created before we duplicated it. Ok, but anyway this looks good, now I dissolve the edges and then I go to vertex selection for the last step. And this is to select the vertices here at the corners. So these are 8 vertices. And after that I press Ctrl, Shift and B to create the bevels for these vertices and this kind of shape. Looks very interesting, if you like you can add a bevel. For this you can use my fast carve add-on. And that's it, just one way to create this object. Alright guys, if you like the channel then don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support me you can do this by being my patron, this would really help a lot. If you have any questions add these to the comments here. Thanks a lot for watching this, thanks for your support and I'll see you soon in the next tutorial.